Yeah, Daz is going to go for 20. Yeah. 24, St. Ellen's. Wow. Mm. Quite a bit confident there, isn't it? Right, we'll go Wigan v Huddersfield. Wigan v Huddersfield. Jesus. Huddersfield. You've got to go for a Wigan victory at home, haven't you? You've just... Wigan, Wigan are playing well, aren't they? So I'm going to go for the 22 points to 2. Wigan. 22. 2. 2. I'm going to go 54 nil. 54 nil. To Wigan. Yeah. He's yep. not playing well on this field, then. No. Daz has gone 36 18 for 36, Wigan. 18. And just while we're on the subject of Wigan, a massive well done to one of our own Salford yes. boys, Jack Wells. Yeah, well done, Jack. Scored on his uh, TV debut yeah. in his first try for Wigan in, in Super League. Um, well done, Played Jack. for Volley Lane. Yeah, we like Volley Lane. We um, like our local clubs and we like local lads that are doing no, well it, for you know, Of course, so. of course, well mate. Done, Jack. You know, well these lads. Yeah. You know, there to show people, you know, it's... You know, well, you can make the grade, can't you? Of course you can, good of enough. course. You know so. I mean? Talent will always shine through, so well done to him. So it doesn't matter if he plays for Wigan or whatever, you know, he's a yeah, proud we'll support, support him. Of course, we'll mate, we'll of course, support. we're proud of it, mate. Coming from Salford yeah. on your own doorstep. Yeah, well so, done. a massive well done to Jack Wells. Hope it continues, pal, but don't score against us. Yes, make sure you know Because we know pal. where you live. Yes, we know where you live. We'll be not giving you a knock. We know the lads. Right, the main one, Salford v Castleford. Right, well, Salford have just come back from uh, being robbed of the referee. Castleford at the top of the table, uh, beating everybody. So I'm going for a 48 14 Salford victory. 48 14, wow. I'm going to go 24 yeah. 18 Salford. Yes, well done. Darren's gone 30. 16 Salford oh so we should be lucky well, well I've not bothered us I think 48 14 is more close to the mark mate. Well, I hope you're right pal I <laughs> so hope you I. are right so we're I. just looking at Castleford's uh, scoring mate well they've scored, scored 100, anywhere, they've scored they? 174 points and conceded 48 well we Salford will match that 48 that they've conceded and Salford have scored 106 yeah. and conceded 104 yeah so two is our goal difference. Theirs is a hundred and twenty six. Don't worry about that. I'm not worried yet, mate. They've not played anyone yet. No, have they? No, well, well they have actually. They've played Warrington. They've played uh, <laughs> <laughs> with this away. <laughs> Look, mate, we we know what we've got to do, and yeah, obviously we'll everyone in. knows that the firing played Leeds at home. Um, this is where you got to test yourself as a player. Yeah, this is the one. You know. In the words of the Stone Roses, this is the one, mate. This this shows you how, how close we'll be to the top of the league at the end of the season. Well, if I'm... we can do these, we will be there or thereabouts, right? If we get annihilated, we'll be top eight. I'm confident. I'm confident too. That's why I've gone for a 48-14 victory. Yeah, yeah. Keep the yep. faith. That's what I say. Right, let's go to a couple of the uh, scores over the weekend, shall we? Eh? Local ones, Local yeah. ones, yes. Folly uh, absolutely annihilated uh, Alton Arnett's at Broughton New Street at weekend. I think it was something like 30 or something. Langwader continued the winning run. They've got three wins on the trot now. Good beating uh, Oral 60 points to 30. Yeah. Also, Broughton uh, continued the winning run as the other team couldn't gain the team, so... That one was awarded the point, so it's 22 league games now, one out of 22, which is absolutely fantastic. Do you think they're going to get that problem where teams are not going to turn up now? Well, that's what's, the ha- league. that's you know what's what happening I mean? now. It's a bit unfair yeah. on them lads, isn't it, really? Yeah, but you see, three league games to go. They've got the semi final of the cup this weekend at U Street, so if you're not doing that, make sure you get down there. I know it's rugby yarning, but when you watch Brighton, it's a different sort of rugby yarning than we were watching England. Right. It's not all pick and pass, they're all steaming and they're all a team and a good unit and they're a good set of lads and we sponsor them and that's why we like them, isn't it, mate? That's right, mate, that's right, yeah. So, so well that's, uh, well. what's it? Caddy's head versus Little Alton. What happened was Little Alton called the game off because it was a waterlogged pitch. I believe there was submarines going up and down there, I don't was know. Was there? I don't People had the fishing rods out. Yes, I believe there was more flooding than when the birds see you, mate. <laughs> Oh, you love me that. Yeah, you toss up. Right, I want to mention this, mate. Is someone who's just proudly <coughs> involved in it. So you fear, fear Paul football projects. We're planning to raise a team of a young team of footballers aged 16 to 20 to play a football game on Saturday, 
the 1st of July 2017. It's going to be held at the AJ Bell, you know, the pitch at the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be held there. It's against the team of Salford Army veterans based at Manchester Metro, uh, Veterans Garage, which is just over the road. There's going to be free weekly training for all the kids, and the session will be delivered by an FA UEFA B licensed coach. The kits and the free fitness and everything else is going to be museum visits. That's all going to be free. The project's to raise awareness about the Battle of Fearpol and the Salford Pals. Their first taste of action was at Fearpol Ridge on the Somme on the 1st of July 1916, and the battle resulted in the Salford Pals almost single handedly being wiped out. Did you know that? Not at all, what mate. Do you do now? Thank the you. highlights of the year, the session will include a three a weekly radio podcast with interviews. There'll be a free coaching session every Tuesday, five till six, and that'll be at Eccles College you know, on the free G pitches. Yep. Right, don't cost now. There's going to be free visits to the museums to research the Salford Pals. It's all funded by Greater Manchester Police. Right, it starts on the 28th of the 3rd of this, well, 28th of March, isn't it? The time is uh, five till six. It's at Eccles College. So if you want to get down there and you want to play football and you're ages between 16 and 21, make sure you get down to Eccles College. That's 12 Chatsworth Road, Eccles, Salford, M30, 9FJ. If you need any more information, you can contact Roy Thicket on 0161 607 1888. Or you get in touch with Graham. I can pass a ball. All right. He was a good player, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he got injured, don't he? Yeah, he got injured. Like that once again the other day. And game's telephone number is 0161 607 1900. Or you can also email him at graham.allride at salford.gov.uk. And the uh, parties involved, the Salford City Council, because we like working closely with the council, don't we, mate? Well, you're for also, the Manchester Veterans Garage, your mates, GMP, Marley Music Studio, and it's all organised, yes, again, by the sounds of Salford. And I think it good stuff. You know I mean, so we like to do our little bit for the community. Why not? Why not? So yeah, why not? Do that. Get in touch with Ryan. That uh, I was asked a question this morning about um, will Salford give a refund because people couldn't make it to the game because of the incident on the bridge with the lady. Unfortunately, they won't be because it's not Salford's fault. To be it's fair, not, it's is not. It? It's not. It's not affected the game in a way. I'm so sorry for the fans who couldn't make it and turned around. But look. There's someone a lot worse off than us. Yeah. On that bridge, you might say, "What well, I don't, you know what I mean?" This, that, and the other. But to do that, you've got to have issues. Yeah. Um, you know, from the sounds of Salford and from Salford Rugby League Club, we wish her well, and hopefully she can sort out her issues. Because it, it's nothing course, what you want yeah. to see. I know you missed the game. Yeah. And that, but and there's, there's worse things happening in the world, isn't there, mate? Yeah. And same thing goes to the seventy thousand readers of the year Salford Star. I'm sorry that there was no. Uh, rugby report this week but unfortunately because of the issue with the lady do you know what I mean we couldn't yeah. make well, it to look, the ground and that goes to from Gareth as well so there was no pictures but there are pictures because Steve McCormack took some absolutely belters so check him out on Steve's page because he's a great photographer Steve yeah, McCormack isn't Steve McCormack, McCormack, or McCormack no don't call him McCormack <laughs> <laughs> you get his sister to beat you up yeah they're Carol yeah. smash it in yeah, uh, a big shout out to Pete Wilde and his family who are always getting there. They're getting the bug now. Them yeah, kids, well, it's you know great, I mean? that, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, yeah. Do anyone else we want to mention, mate? Because we're coming to the end of this. Um, oh, yeah, on, on Mother's Day, I've got uh, Beth, Beth singing again. Is that a Sunday, yeah? Yeah, it's a Sunday on Mother's Day. You I bring. Can leave. What? Can I just say this? What? Are you going to purchase uh, thousands of bottles of Prosecco? Is that I'm right? going to give out. If you bring your ma, yeah. you get a bottle. The Prosecco. Well, I can't dig my mum up. What do you mean you can't dig your mum up? <laughs> your mum's still alive, isn't she? Oh, what a mess. <laughs> there be people walking oh, in with stop, skeletons. Stop it now, stop <laughs> I know, it. I should say so, that. yeah, I'll be doing that for Mother's Day. So and always want... remember, without your mum, you're knackered, aren't you? Yeah, your Beth... mum's the best woman I've had. Beth will be singing for the news mums out She's there. A so brilliant singer. Come on down. Um, and don't forget, we are at the Culture Horses tomorrow. Yes, make sure you Come turn up. Hello. 8 o'clock kick off. Uh, you, you'll see oh, we've got Gatton. a special guest next week coming in on the show, haven't yes, we? Yes, we've got Copy coming in, haven't Copy's we? coming in, so have a chat with us. So if you've got any questions for Copy as well, make sure you get them sent over to us and we'll yep. uh, answer him. Anything goes, like last time. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I'm yeah. out tomorrow with Gaz O'Brien, by the way. I didn't tell no, you're not. You're not. Yeah, Leo. No, tomorrow day. Oh, what are you doing? I can't say. 
Oh, just right. me, me, me new mate, guys. I'm just dropping a name, Leo. All right, well, he, he has to drop one again. You know, one it, a name. It, oh, and it's just also like to oh, say, go uh, on, go on. very happy birthday to me, mate, Gary Jacks. So oh, yeah, there you go. He's oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 56 yeah. today, so happy that's going birthday. out there from all the lads at this shed. Yeah, right. happy birthday. you got to get one in. Yeah, you got to get one in. got to get one in. Gotta get one in. So, so is that it then, Bob? Um, I think so up to now, mate. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Just keep the faith and, yeah. uh, and get behind out, the team. Turn out in big numbers on Sunday because Castleford will come down here in big numbers. Hopefully there'll be a 6,000 plus gate. I'll get behind our team and jobs are good. And what a message this will send out to the Rugby League world if we can beat Castleford. Yeah. And hopefully it'll be my debut in the press box. Yeah, you'll be there, won't you, mate? Yeah, well, I'm not drinking though, am I, so... Till next week. I'm not honest. I'm staying off it, mate. I'm staying you? off it, yeah. Because cool. I enjoyed it, you know, putting the uh, live scores on. Because people was messaging me, say, we're getting them faster than we do with BBC. Oh, you got to remember, it's, oh, I'm listening straight away and I'm putting the scores on. Right. So they're getting them on Red Shark, aren't they? Ah, right. Whereas, Red, uh, whereas the BBC, it's got to be edited, hasn't it? Ah. So. Right, so I can do it that way. I can, it, yeah, right. I can, I can get the scores out as soon as you. So happen, you'll basically. be in press box and all that, eh? Yeah. Oh, you'll be able to get proper interviews, won't you? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I'd also like to mention uh, the Devil Indeed. Is it Devil Indeed Sale podcast? That's an absolute belting podcast. That's an absolutely belting podcast. If you don't listen to us, make sure you listen to them, Dan and Ian. They do a great show, don't they? I listened to it last we're, week. Look, we're all in it to promote our club, yeah, aren't we? Do you know of course what I mean? we are, Don't yeah. forget, this is a non-feasible thing we do, so we're not... We're all doing it for nothing, thing. do you know we're what I mean? It's our time. Um, so, yeah, give it a listen. I yeah. listen to it now and then. Yeah, it's good listen, isn't it? Yeah. I listened to it last week and I thought, what a belting listen. It's getting all sorted out there. Similar to us. Yep. Get on it, do you know what I mean? Of course. Right, on that note, keep the faith in it, mate. Yeah, there's no lot of results because I'm still waiting for Stuart Pendlebury to email me, but he hasn't done them or texted me, so... Bad and show, Stuart. Hey? <laughs> Bad show, Stuart. Bad show, Stuart. And if, if anyone really wants to know who the devil is, we'll tell you next week. There you go, just dropped it. Bye.